Hello and welcome. Today we're going to try something different. We're going to play with some fabric and some watercolor paints. We are going to create our own background fabric and another fabric to coordinate with it to make our own quilt. It's going to be like a watercolor painting, but we are going to make it on fabric. Just create with fabric and floss. So all you're going to need is the fabric in your size. I have a small piece of fabric for our contrasting colors. And then our background fabric, I have cut at 24 and a half by 30 and a half and that's going to be the final five of our project <laughs> so i tested around with this by using pencils and watercolor paints and here are some that i've found hopefully you can see this is very light and it's down with the pencils and I'm not pleased on the blending. And this was just dry and then adding the water to blend it. So I wasn't too fond of that technique. The other one was using the watercolor pencil, wetting my fabric and then coloring on top of it, which was a little better, but it still wasn't quite as bright as I wanted. So then I pulled out my watercolor paints and this one is a dry fabric and I just painted on, which isn't bad. Looks really good. It just takes a little longer for the paint to bleed into each other to give that watercolor effect. So I then went and wet my fabric and then started painting on there and it blended a lot easier and a lot faster so that's the technique i liked the nice thing kind of like a um boutique you can see it on both sides so you can choose which one you like better when we're getting ready to put this all together and that is also how i did the pink color so that's what we're going to use today. So you're going to need some watercolor paint. I have this set here um, that my daughter picked up off of, I want to say Amazon for me. Um, and then this paint set that we're going to use today, this is just a cheap paint set that came in one of those multi-craft kits for kids. Um, I may have even picked it up at the dollar store. That's what we're going to use. I like how it comes in. You're going to also need some paint brushes. You're going to need ones that are for watercolor or ones that you only use for watercolor. I am using, um, watercolor brushes because I paint. You're also going to need some paint fabric or fabric painting medium. The little bit goes a long way. I think I got mine from Hobby Lobby. But you're going to need a little bit of this to help set the paint into your fabric. And it also makes it so it's not so stiff. And then you're going to want to protect your table or surface that you're on. So I just have a tablecloth, a vinyl tablecloth, so then I can wet... Uh, um, wipe up the water and paint as I go if I don't want it going through. So let's get started on how to make this really awesome one of a kind. Because no matter how many times you do this, they're never going to be the same. So a one of a kind mini quilt. Let's get started. Now yes, we're going to wet our fabric. I just have a spray bottle and I'm just wetting it. 
And I'm doing it in small sections because it will dry out. And then you can kind of fold up your other piece and kind of dab if you need. It's got excess. And then I have my watercolor palette. And I'm just going to try to spray just this side. Because that's the side I'm using. My water bottle has the um, fabric medium mixed in with the water. So the first thing you need to do is wash your fabric. You get all those chemicals out of there. And then you need to um, iron it. So now we're going to start with the light color, so our yellow. And I'm just rubbing my brush in and then just going to dab it on. And you want it to be pretty dark because, you know, it's going to dry. And so you want less water on your brush. You want more pigment when you put it in. And then you just kind of brush it. If you're doing a smaller one, you can kind of, you know, dab and watch it spread. And I'm just going to paint yellow spots all over this little section. And there's probably going to be some painter out there that will come in and, you know, say that it's not, I'm not doing it right. But I'm making a watercolor background. So it don't have to be perfect. Now, if you're talented enough, you could actually put your design right onto your fabric and paint it that way. And just paint, you know, right onto your, you know, your design right onto your fabric and make a what they consider a cheater fabric and they quilt it. And so you also want to kind of go in, so you see this section I already had done, you kind of want to go into that section as well and keep blending. Because you don't want a significant line of where you stop. Now I'm going to take some of the lighter orange. You always want to start with your lighter color. You can always add more. So if it's not coming out as dark as you want, just add some more paint on top of it. And I take my brush and I will paint this section and then I go off into its different, you know, keep going in that area and just cleaning out the brush, I guess. But you can see when I dab it down on how it spreads out. And so you just want to do this on your whole session. Now, this one is for our motif that we're going to be adding onto our background. Our background fabric, you're going to want to paint greens and blues and some yellows in there. However you want your design. You can put some purples in can add some purple. And so this is going to be leaf petals. So you can make it, you know, however you want. You know, if you want a solid color and it just kind of fades in. Okay. Add some peaks in here. So I'm just using a variety of colors and just kind of trying to keep it going just so I get a variety of colors and textures, I guess, blends in each leaf petal when we get ready to cut it out. So you have this painted and you think, oh, I may need more color. It's not dark enough. Feel free to keep adding on top of, you know, your colors. Like, I can keep adding on to this yellow to make it more, more darker. You can add some white in to tone some pieces down if you need to. 
just to add a little more tech tonal colors, I guess. If you feel like your fabric's getting dry out, just split it again. The same thing with your paint. If you feel your paint's getting a little dry, it's not blending as well. Just kind of spritz it again. And like I said, I'm using cheap, cheap paints. I didn't go out and get any fancy expensive paints. These are paints that I got when I first started practicing watercolor. Now, if you wanted to, you could do like the darker colors on the outside with the lighter colors on the inside. And so I'm just going to keep painting until I have this whole project done. And then I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to let it dry overnight. And then I'll be back to tomorrow to show you how we finish up this project. Okay, so our green and blue, we want a little different than the pink we did. We're going to start with yellow. And that's going to be the majority the center part here and so i'm gonna start in the center and we're just gonna spray the center first and get it wet and then we're gonna go kind of more down toward one edge and that's gonna be our um round per se and we're just going to take our yellow and just kind of get it in. And I have different colors. I have like four different shades of yellow. And so, and then just kind of fade it, you know, off toward the edges. And I want this pretty bright. So I'm using my brightest yellows. And I will be coming back in with some other some greens and and blues to you know kind of blend more in. But we're just starting with the yellow. And don't be afraid to take your brushes strokes in different directions. They don't all have to go in the same direction. You can take some going sideways, diagonal, up and down. Just kind of add the strokes different directions. And I know some of you are probably thinking, oh, I could uh, just buy some cheap fabrics and but this way it is more customized to what you want, where you want those colors. And remember, we are going to be covering part of this up. So it's not all going to be visible. And now we're going to start adding in some greens. We're going to just spritz around the edge. Down on the one side that we came down a lot more yellow on, we want to use green there because that's going to be our bottom. We're just going to blend in some green. If you want it a little brighter, keep adding more green to it. And I'm going to take my green and come into some of the yellow. 
very light stroke. If you feel your fabric's getting a little dry, just come back and spritz it. I'm going to finish painting the green. And I'll see you tomorrow. So now that you know how to make a watercolor wilt, your arsenal is now endless. You can make any design that you want. You can create your own fabric just for what you need for that particular project. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're gonna try it, and make your own fabric using watercolor paints, you be sure with a friend. And I would love to see what you create. There are many ways that you can support my channel. And one of them is maybe hit that subscribe button so you know the next time I upload a different unique technique for our quilting adventures. Coming up on screen is a video that YouTube feels that you may like, but underneath it is a playlist that will give you all kinds of different techniques for your quilting projects. Kind of like this watercolor one here. So until then, happy quilting, my friends.